Hello, welcome to my review of Those Who Wish Me Dead. This is going to be a spoiler review. I saw it on HBO Max. Um, not a good movie. I was disappointed, okay? It was not a waste of time to sit down for an hour and a half to watch it, but in the end, I was disappointed. I'm a fan of the writer and director, uh, Taylor Sheridan. I like Wind River, the previous movie on Netflix. And then... Um, uh, Hell or High Water. That was a good movie too. So I had higher expectation. And this movie didn't do it for me. Uh, not because of the acting. I think the acting here is solid. Angelina Jolie did a wonderful job. And the young actor. I didn't remember his name. But the young actor that portrayed the young boy. Did a wonderful job. So kudos to him and Angelina Jolie. And the rest of the supporting cast. Okay, nothing to complain about. The problem with this movie is the plot. The execution of the plot. That didn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, right, right from the start, I didn't care for the bumbling job that the two hitmen pull with hitting one target while the other target is five hours drive away. So if you're gonna do that, especially did it in the manner that they did a big explosion they could have done many other things to buy them a lot of time to get to the other location five hours later and did the second job but no they had to blow it up make a big thing in the news to alert the other target five hours away to give him time to escape yeah right there is the beginning of my problem and then um, they knew exactly where the family, the, the boy and his father, is going to go. Okay, such the deduction there was a little bit quick and easy. Um, but if they know that, why not just go there? They have a private jet that can flew them there, right? Why not go there days, days ahead of time? And stake out at that house and ambush the father and his young boy. But no, they had to concoct up some scheme to try to take out the father and the son in the middle of the road. Really? And of course, that creates even more problem. And then starting the fire. <sighs> like I said, there's a whole lot of action by the two bumbling, fumbling hitmen. That didn't make a whole lot of sense. Otherwise, the action was okay. The acting was just fine. But I was disappointed with the plot overall. I would give this movie maybe a 5 out of 10. I wouldn't recommend it. But if you don't have anything else to watch on HBO Max. And you have 90 minutes to kill. Then sit down and watch this movie. You might agree with everything I just said as far as the plot. And agree with me that the acting was decent. That's my quick review for those who wish me dead. And by the way, the name of this movie make no sense. No sense. Those who wish me dead. Eh, I didn't like it. I didn't like the name. But that's the least of the problem with this movie. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.